Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on strain energy. Let us read the question on time. In the frame shown in the figure, calculate the vertical deflection under the point load using strain energy. In this frame, we have to calculate the deflection under the point load 1 kN. The height of the portion AB is equal to 5 meter. The length of BC is equal to 4 meter. The moment of inertia for AB is equal to 2I. The moment of inertia for BC is equal to I. In this frame, we are having two different parts AB and BC. So we have to calculate the strain energy due to bending in two parts U1 for BC and u2 for ab so for calculating strain energy we have to make two sections one section in bc one section in ab the limits for cb will be 0 to 4 the limits for ba will be 0 to 5 the moment of inertia for AB is equal to 2I. So instead of I, we have to apply 2I. 2 into 2, we will get a 4. Before making the sections, let us make the free body diagram. In the point C, we are having a point load 1 kN. Because of this point load, a anticlockwise moment will be developed in the point B. This point load is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So a moment will be created in the anticlockwise direction. You can see that the moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction. The magnitude of the moment will be 1 into 4. So it will be 4. You can see that I have separated AB and BC. In the point C, we are having a point load 1 kN. This point load is acting downwards. So in the point B, there must be a point load 1 kN. It must act upwards. Now we can easily make the free body diagram for BA. Here we are having a upward force. So we should make a downward force. Here we are having an anticlockwise movement. So here it must be a clockwise movement. You can see that all the quantities are same. The vertical loads are having 1 kN but only the direction is different. Here we are having 4 kN meter. Here also we must have 4 kN meter. But for BC it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. For BA it should be acting in the clockwise direction. Now let us make the sections. We have already seen. We have to make two sections. One in the span BC and one in the span AB. You can see that I have made the sections. Now let us calculate M1. For that we have to take moment about the first section. Up to the section we are having only one load that is 1 kN. 1 kN into the distance x, we are getting x. Now let us calculate m2. For that we have to take moment about the second section. Up to the section we are having one point load and one moment. The point load 1 kN does not have any perpendicular distance. So we cannot consider that. In this case up to the section we are having only one moment that is 4 kN meter. So M2 is equal to 4 kN meter. We have calculated the moment values for BC and AB. For BC the origin will be C. For AB the origin will be B. We have already seen the limits. For BC it will be 0 to 4. For AB it will be 0 to 5. In the strain energy formula, we can apply the values of M1 and M2. 
we can take the 4 square outside because it is constant 4 square is equal to 16 then we can go for integration when we integrate x square it will be x power 3 by 3 when we integrate dx we will get x now we can apply the limits no need to apply the lower limits because the lower limit is 0 when we apply the lower limit both of the terms will become 0 so no need to apply and waste the time only apply the upper limits here instead of x we have to apply 4 here instead of x we have to apply 5 for these two values we can take LCM we have to multiply 20 by EI by 3 on the top and bottom finally we are getting the strain energy u is equal to 92 by 3 ei we know the formula for work done by the load of into load into deflection here the load is 1 kilo newton so we have to apply 1 we know that strain energy is equal to work done by the load we can equate the strain energy and the work done by the load we can take the 2 on the left side it will come in the numerator finally we are getting the deflection yc is equal to 184 by 3 ei in the question the values of Young's modulus and moment of inertia are given we can apply them after the calculations we are getting the vertical deflection in the point c is equal to 0 0.0219 meter we can multiply this value by 1000 so we will get in millimeter now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video